So we're going to go ahead and use these ink gel pens that I got on Amazon. These are the straws that I'll hold the pens on with. My X-Acto knife, a lighter, and some sandpaper. So obviously this would work better if you had a hot knife, but seeing as I don't, I'm going to show you how you could do this without having one. And I saw this in another group somewhere and I can't remember. So if that was you, please let me know in the comments. Um, but basically what I'm going to do is take apart these pens and we need to get that little clip off at the very top. And we're going to go ahead and kind of heat up the blade there with our lighter. And it's going to allow us to pop that piece off a little bit easier because it's hot. So it doesn't necessarily slice right through, but it does make it easier as far as getting it off. All right, and I just keep all my pieces in this little tray here, that way I don't lose them, and then I put them in a drawer, and that way little fingers that I have running around the house does not pick up little pieces either and run off with them. <laughs> so we're gonna set that aside, we don't need those quite yet. And we're gonna take the lighter here and just kind of move it back and forth on the blade, just enough to heat it up. We're not gonna hold it still on there, we're not gonna set anything on fire, don't go crazy, and please, Please be careful when trying this, but I'm just heating it up enough to make it easier to pop this piece off. Alright, and there we go. So now what you'll do is just grab your sandpaper and if it needs some sanding at the top, make sure you just have a nice flat surface. And then I just kind of very lightly sand over the whole pen, just kind of breaking up that seal that's on the pen there and scruffing it up a little bit to get our uh, glue to stick. And then I'm just going to take them in a paper towel, spray some rubbing alcohol on them and just wipe them down really good. And then we're ready for our spray paint. Okay, so I'm going to take my straw and I'm going to put the widest part on the tip of the straw here and just kind of push it down until you get that resistance. That way you know it's on there pretty well. Once I get all these on here, I'm just going to go outside and I'm just going to give them a nice even coat of some white spray paint. All right, so we are all spray painted and we are ready for our glitter. So this is our yellow that we're going to use from Peach Olive Glitter. We're going to use some Pot of Gold, some Shazam, excuse me. And this is actually a custom mix that I made here for the top part of the pen. So I'm going to grab my painter's tape and this is what I'm going to use for each step to get our nice clean lines here on the pen. And obviously you don't need very much. We're going to start at the bottom here, which remember the wide part on the straw is the bottom of the pen, so that's where the ink part will come out. So sometimes I kind of have to remind myself <laughs> as far as like directions, um, which way we're doing glitter and names, things like that. All right, so our first color is going to be the gold and I'm going to use Mod Podge to put my glitter on here. And we're just going to do two coats of each color of glitter just to make sure we get a good coverage. So just go ahead and apply your Mod Podge, make sure you got it on there nice and evenly and go ahead and put your glitter on.
All right, so our gold is dry. I've done all the pens, and now we're gonna move to our yellow. So we're gonna very carefully kind of pull at an angle to pull this tape off, and then we're gonna move it up the pen and mark off our next spot. So remember when marking this, you're gonna need two colors at the top, and that's where we're gonna put our pink and our silver. So just keep that in mind. There's little hearts on the pen here, and that's kind of what I use for my um, guideline, so to say. Alright, so now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get the Mod Podge on our brush and apply the yellow here in the middle. And when going up against that gold, just make sure that you go right up against the edge. Just be careful not to get any glue on the gold because then when you go to pour your yellow, um, you'll mix those colors. So you don't want to do that. All right, and same with the gold. We're gonna go ahead and apply two coats of the yellow on here and then we'll move to our next color. All right, our yellow has dried, so same thing. Pull very gently and slowly, pull your paint off, and we're gonna move it down to our next um, little spot here. All right, same process. Go ahead and get your Mod Podge. Just be very careful going up against that yellow. Okay, so we are all back and ready for our last and final color. So go ahead and gently pull that tape off. And we're gonna do the same thing with the Mod Podge and put the pink on and get two coats of our pink on here.
And then once we get our pink on here, we're going to let these fully dry. I'm going to take them outside and then spray them my, with my Rust-Oleum 2 times Ultra Clear just to make sure we get a good seal on these colors. The last thing you want to do is when you epoxy them for those colors to run. So I will spray them about two times just to make sure we get a good seal here. Okay, so we are back. They are sealed and this is how I'm going to attach them to my turner here. Um, don't laugh at me. <laughs> I know there's attachments that you can buy, but I am all about being resourceful and trying to cut down costs um, with things like this. So I am just going to get my painter's tape here and I tape the straws on and I like this little attachment here because it has a little grooves so it actually fits the straws really well. And I just go around and I tape the straws individually around the uh, little piece here and then I'm going to put um, some tape right around the edge and just fully secure these so they're not going to move anywhere um, all around our holder here. All right, so they are nice and secure, and we're gonna go ahead and apply our epoxy now. So I have it mixed up in our cup already, and I'm just gonna apply it by holding it, and just kind of go around gently to each straw, and just put a nice thin even coat onto each one. And then I just put it on my turner and turn it on like normal, and just let these spin. I'm gonna let them spin about eight hours or so. They'll actually spin overnight just because of the time of day that it is and then we will be back for our vinyl part.
All right, so we are back the next day and I've already cut out my names. The names are about two inches to 2.1 inches in lengthwise to get kind of right in the middle of our yellow here. I didn't want them too big because then they tend to kind of wrap around the pen. Um, so this seemed like a good size and I used the font dancing script is what it's called. I believe I got it from Defont. Um, so because it's smaller, I'm going to do the reverse weeding part here. I just find that it works easier for tiny pieces and tiny letters um, versus the normal way that I weed. So do what works for you. This is what works for me. And we're going to get these off and then I just place it right in the middle of our yellow here. We've got a couple little pieces here to weed. So I'm going to get my ring and my little tweezers and just pull out these tiny little pieces. All right, we're all set. So as you can see, I leave my pens on my little attachment here and I just kind of eyeball it to just center it as best as I can and just push down nice and firm. Make sure you got all your letters on there, pull up and we're done. So we're going to just do this for each pen and then we will add our final coat of epoxy. And I just want to add to add the epoxy. We're just going to do the same exact thing we did before. All right, so we have our final coat on and they are ready to be put back together. So I'm just undoing the tape here and taking them off one at a time. All right, so I kind of just wiggle it, give it a little turn, and the straw just pops right off. So you shouldn't have trouble with getting them off. They should come off relatively easy. And then what we're gonna do next is I get my X-Acto knife and I kinda just carve, I don't, I don't know the right word I'm looking for here, just kind of get off any epoxy that may have leaked over. Just be very gentle. Remember, your pens are plastic. We're not working with stainless steel here. And just go ahead and kind of clean up those edges a little bit. If you need to give it a little, a little bit of a light sanding, you can do that. And then we just put our attaches, attachments, excuse me, right back into our pen and we're done. So it's, it's a pretty easy process. They are addicting. You've been warned, <laughs> but they are fun. They make great little gifts. Um, thank you gifts. They make a great little addition to any tumblers that you make. I like to make matching ones to go with my cups and customers seem to just really, really love these. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, as always, let me know below and stay tuned for the next video. I do try to upload every Friday and we will see you on the next one. Have a good day.